Chase at 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 3rd. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, everybody. All right, so there's a and new technology to make lie detecting more accurate. It follows eye movement, and Tiffany Huerta's got a look at it. It's this week's Tech SA coming up after the break. It's being called a new type of lie detector test. Uh, law enforcement able to use new technology to see if suspects are indeed telling the truth. In this week's Tech SA report, Tiffany Huerta shows us how this new tool works. Here in Texas, um, we, we have used it with law enforcement in an Internet Crimes Against Children's uh, sting operation. This is iDetect. We have some countries that are using this for testing individuals that uh, may have had a scenario where drugs are found, for example, in their, in their luggage. CEO and president of Converis, Todd Mickelson, says the company started by professors at the University of Utah who spent 40 years in the field of lie detection. For this bar that you see down here is the infrared high definition camera that's going to capture up to 60 unique measurements per second. I took the test to see how it works. And the more truthful you appear, the less likely your lie will be detected. Write down a number between two and nine. After calibrating my eyes, a series of statements show on the screen. I have to respond. Today I picked seven as the number. And the eye tracker is capturing hundreds of thousands of these unique measurements that are occurring in your eyes. And that information goes into a computer algorithm at the conclusion of the test to generate a score. We believe that the number is three. I detect was right. The number is three. The company recently showcased their product at this year's Border Security Expo. We have outside the United States some other countries. Uh, fortunately, I can't mention who they are, but other countries that are using it specifically for that purpose to confirm if a suspected terrorist, for example, is in fact a, a terrorist, or to confirm if someone's lying about the reason for which they're they're entering the country. Mickelson says in an ever-changing environment of technology, this tool is one they can depend on. Right. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. That is fascinating. That is, isn't it? Wow. Well, Mickelson says they spent 13 years in research and development doing field studies and lab studies. Reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie, Minority Report, where they were trying to, movie. a pre-crime unit, they were trying to catch people before they committed certain crimes. And he was one of the guys who would go and arrest them before yep. they committed the crime, and then he ends up, they... Uh, being accused of a crime, yeah? Yes, that yeah. he hadn't committed yet. Kind of interesting. A Steven Spielberg film, if you've never caught it. Yeah, it's good. Let's take a